cagar. Assalamu alaikum students. Uh, let's uh, start with our lecture number 14 today. And uh, today we are going to start uh, the electronic mail protocol which is SMTP, POP3 and IMAP. Okay? We will have a detailed uh, look into the working of these uh, mail protocols today. Uh, let's start with the three major components of uh, the email protocols, electronic mail protocols. And the three major components are user agent, which is working on the user system, okay, in order to compose the email and in order to send the email to the mail server. And then the second component is the mail server. The main component of the email system is the mail server. And uh, the third component is the simple mail transfer protocol, SMTP protocol, which is used to transfer the emails either from user agent working on the user system to the mail server and from the mail server of uh, one user to the mail server of another user if the other user mail account is existing on another mail server. Okay. So, in the diagram here, you are looking that these are the mail servers. Okay, this is the mail server. This is another mail server, mail server, and they are using the SMTP protocol in order to exchange the emails between them. Okay, and these are the user agents running on the user computer. Okay, here on the mail server, you will look uh, uh, outgoing uh, messages queue over here, where the messages will be stored in order to be sent out from the mail server okay and these uh, yellow uh, are the basically user mailboxes you could say that these are the inbox where the mails of the users are kept and the, your emails are coming to your mail server your mails are kept in your mailboxes okay so what is the job of the user agent let's uh, start uh, with the user agent user agent is also known as the mail reader where you can read the mail or where you can compose the email and where you can write the subject of your email and the recipient email address and you can send the email after composing it into the mail reader. Okay? You can compose the email, you can edit your email, you can read your email messages in the mail readers. Examples are Adora, Outlook, ELM, Mozilla. Thunderbird. These are, there are different type of mail reader softwares. Okay, most commonly we use uh, our Outlook Express on our computers. Okay, in which we can compose our emails, we can send our emails, and uh, whenever we want, we can uh, retrieve our emails from our mail servers into the uh, our mail readers. Okay. So, outgoing or incoming mail messages uh, are stored on the servers, email servers, okay? Because our mailboxes are on our email servers. And from our mailboxes, we can retrieve our messages into our mail readers, okay? So, the mail servers are basically having the mailboxes, the yellow ones here, uh, which contains the incoming messages for the users. All the users incoming messages are stored in their mailboxes on their mail servers. Clear? Along with the mailboxes, it will have the message queue as well on the mail servers. And these message queues are basically for the outgoing uh, mail messages which needs to be sent or needs to be forwarded to the email servers, next email servers, because it is not uh, possible always that you and the recipient to whom you are sending the email both have emails on the same mail server. Okay. It might be possible that the recipient is having an um, email account on a different mail server, so temporarily your mail will store into your mail uh, server message queue and from there it will be sent by your mail server using SMTP protocol to the mail server of the recipient where it will be stored in the message queue and from there it will be delivered into the mailbox. Okay. 
So SMTP protocol is used between the mail servers to send the email messages in between the mail servers, client and the server. Client is the sending mail server and the server side is the receiving mail server. For example, if you sent an email to this user and uh, this user email account is on a different mail server and your email account is on this mail server, so you will compose a message here in the mail reader and you will send it to your mail server. It will be stored into the outgoing message queue of your mail server. From there it will be sent to the recipient email server using SMTP protocol and it will be dropped into the mailbox of the uh, recipient. Okay. The question is this that when you send an email to your mail server, your mail server is acting as a mail server. But when your mail is going to be forwarded from your mail server to the mail server of the recipient, this mail server will start acting as a client for this mail server because it is going to forward your email to the mail server of the recipient. Clear? So it will become a client which is the sending mail server and the server of the recipient who is going to receive the mail will become a server going to receive the mail server, Rece going to receive the email and that email will be dropped into the, will be kept into the mailbox of the user. When that user will become online, it will hook up with its mail server and using a POP3 protocol or IMAP protocol, yeah, another protocol. To retrieve the email, there is a different protocol, POP3 or IMAP, to send SMTP and to retrieve POP. Okay, so he will hook up with his mail server and using a POP protocol, he will download his email from his mailbox into his mail reader or mail user agent. Clear? So this is the working of the email, okay, or electronic mail on the internet. SMTP protocol details you can get from RFC 2821 and it uses TCP. Again, SMTP is an application layer protocol. Okay. It uses the services of the TCP protocol on the transport layer because email delivery needs to be a reliable delivery and for reliable delivery we do need the services of TCP protocol on the transport layer. Clear? So it uses the TCP okay, to reliably transfer email messages from the client server from the client to the server on port 25. Direct transfer, sending server to receiving server and it is a direct transfer from the sending mail server to the receiving mail server and it will be in three phases, okay, this transfer will be in three phases, first the handshaking, the greeting, second the transfer of the message, okay, and third is the closure to disconnect the connection, okay. Command response interaction, it will be uh, throughout the journey, it will be a command response interaction. Commands are the ASCII texts, okay, and response are the status codes and the phrases as we have looked into HTTP and FTP. Same like here, for there are some um, uh, status codes and the phrases in order to uh, deliver the mail messages, exchange the mail messages between the client and the server, okay. Message must be in 7-bit ASCII. Now let's uh, have an example uh, scenario here for the Alice and the Bob that Alice uh, she is going to send a message to the Bob okay so she is Alice and he is Bob okay Alice is using uh, her uh, user agent uh, mail uh, composer or mail reader and Bob will have its uh, his own so Alice uses user agent to compose a message okay and she is going to send this message to Bob at summerschool.edu. This is the domain on which Bob is having an email account, okay? So once Alice has uh, composed a message into her user agent, she is going to write in the recipient, in the two uh, box, in the recipient box, the mail address of the Bob, okay? So LS user agent will send the message to her mail server from her user agent to her mail server using SMTP protocol. So first in the first step, Alice will uh, compose a message and then she will send the message.
to the to her mail server in the second step uh, using SMTP protocol. Here on her mail server, on Alice mail server, the message will be stored in the message queue. Okay, temporarily. Unless it is being forwarded by Alice mail server to the Bob mail server. For that time the message will be stored in the message queue. So to her mail server, LS user agent will send a message to her mail server where the message will be stored or placed in the message queue at a step 3. The client side of the SMTP opens a TCP connection with the Bob mail server. Now this, is, this will become a client side of the mail server. It will open a connection, TCP connection with the Bob mail server, TCP connection because the mail delivery will be on the TCP protocol, on the transport layer. Okay. In the fourth step, the SMTP client on the LS mail server, LS uh, will send the LS message over the TCP connection to the Bob mail server. On the Bob mail server, the message will be placed in the Bob's mailbox. Once the message is received on the Bob's mail server, it will be put into Bob's mailbox, which you call your inbox or the inbox of the Bob. Bob mailbox. Okay, clear? Once the Bob uh, becomes online, okay, he will hook up with uh, his mail server by giving his uh, username and password. Bob will invoke his user agent and he will give his username and password and he can retrieve his uh, mails from his mailbox into his user agent and he can read his mail messages. So this is the scenario how the message is being sent. These are some uh, sample SMTP interaction codes. Okay, This is from the server side, this is from the client side. 220 hamburger, hamburger.edu. The server is going to have a connection. Okay, Client says hello uh, crisps.fr. Server says 250 hello crisps.fr, please to, to meet you. Client says mail from, okay. Alice at crisps.france, okay. Server says 250 Alice at france sender, okay. Server is saying, okay, I'm going to uh, send you this email. And uh, client says, receive to bobhamburg.com. This is the recipient where the mail should be received. And server says 250 bobhamburg.edu, recipient, okay. And you compose the data, okay. Server says uh, 354 is the code, enter the mail address, end with enter the mail okay whatever you want to enter end with the dot on a line by itself it, which is called calorie return or the line feed and client says do you like ketchup it is the body of the message how about pickles and full stop is to end the message okay and then server so message is 250 message accepted for the delivery by the server from the client and client says quit I'm going to quit now because I have sent the email to the server and server says that I have accepted the message from the client for the delivery and server is going to send 221 hamburg.edu closing connection. It closed the connection with the server. So telnet server name, try SMTP interaction for yourself on your mail server. Telnet to your mail server on port, port 25. Okay, see 220 reply from the server and 220 is here that the connection to the server is open okay hello now you have to enter the hello hello mean you have to uh, you will get a message from the server and you have mail from you it your client will say that you have a mail from this okay then receive to where you have to send what is the body of the email and quit complete okay above lets you send the email without using a mail client reader now with this, if you use these commands, you can send you can send your email with the help of these commands. Okay, this is the SMTP interaction uh, on command by command basis. Okay, without uh, sending your email through a user agent. Okay, you are not going to use a mail composer or mail reader because the same task which is being done step by step by using some. Uh, status codes and phrases is simplified by designing a user agent, mail reader or mail composer. 
So this task is being done nowadays by uh, GUI interface software which we use for example Outlook Express. So you need not to give each and every command in order to do step by step the mail transfer and delivery up to the recipient in between. This is basically the interaction. The codes which are being used for the interaction between the mail client and the mail server, which is a quite difficult process. When in the beginning the mail service was started, people used to send emails like this. But later on, they made it very easy by designing a mail clients or mail user agents or mail readers or mail composers or Outlook Express or Fedora or Thunderbird. ELM like these type of the mail composers are being des uh, were designed in order to simplify the task of transferring the mails between the users. Okay, so uh, this is you can try it and SMTP final words that uh, here SMTP uses persistent connection because in the same connection it will send multiple objects. SMTP requires message header body to be in seven bit ASCII code sent okay SMTP server uses CRLF to determine end of the message CRLF mean carriage return line feed Windows basically uses this uh, command carriage return line feed but carriage return is basically for the Unix and line feed is for the uh, Mac operating system but Windows uses both line feed mean that you have to go to the at the beginning of the line carriage return will bring to the line feed mean you have to go to the next line carriage return will bring you to the start of the line okay on the next line at the start of the line okay comparison between uh, http and tcp uh, smtp uh, http is basically a pull protocol pull protocol mean that your website pages are being uploaded on the web server and using HTTP protocol, you pull the uh, web page from the mail server and bring it into your web browser and you can look the page. Whereas SMTP is a push protocol. Have you seen? Push email. When you buy the mobile, it is written push email. So it will automatically, you, the email will be sent to your server. Okay. Both have an ASCII command response interaction as you have seen in HTTP, FTP, SMTP, okay, status codes and their phrases, HTTP. In HTTP, each object is encapsulated it's in its own response message. Every object will be encapsulated in the response message, HTTP response message. Whereas in SMTP, multiple objects are sent in multi-part messages. Okay, even in one message, multiple objects can be sent using SMTP protocol. Okay. This is the mail message format. You will have the header of the email and the body of the email and a blank line in between both. SMTP protocol for exchanging the email messages. And this is the RFC request for comment 822 standard for the text message format. Here it will have the header line example. In the header, you will have the two where you want to send recipient and from where the mail is going to be sent and subject what is the matter subject of the email and uh, then different from the SMTP command this is not here here you these things if you use the codes you will write these things here from to and the from to and this is the body of the message okay now the question is this that uh, this work was quite difficult for the users to do it command by command okay here it has become very easy in the software now okay the same commands are being coded at the back end and you have been given a user interface for your ease just to write a to email for the recipient email address and from where you are going to send the email your email address and subject what is the subject of the email okay and the body of the email the message the ASCII character only in the body okay? and press the send button your mail will be sent from your 
user agent to your mail server from the sender mail server to the receiver's mail server and both will use the SMTP protocol user mail agent from your computer to your mail server from your mail server to the recipient mail server SMTP simple mail transfer protocol will be used at both the stages and from the recipient mail server to the recipient user agent it will use the access protocol which is post office protocol or internet message access protocol IMAP. Okay. So the SMTP delivery storage to the receiver's uh, mail server. Mail access protocol is used here by the recipient user mail agent to retrieve the mail from his mail server and that protocol is either POP, IMAP or HTTP. All the three are the protocols which can be used. If you use POP, post office protocol, you can get its further details from this RFC. It requires the authorization, agent and server interaction and it will download your email into your mail agent. IMAP is internet mail access protocol. Okay, More features are there, more complex manipulation of a stored messages on the server. It is basically it is acting as an application log on the mail server. Okay, you can manage your messages on the mail server. Okay, through IMAP protocol. Okay, in POP you have an option that if you want, you can leave a copy of your message on the mail server or you can delete it. But your mails will be downloaded into your mail agent. In IMAP you can leave a copy as well or you can even delete. But if you lost your message, it is responsibility of the IMAP protocol to retrieve your messages from the application log because the, the management of the mail messages are responsibility of the IMAP protocol. Okay. HTTP, if you use the web-based application, which mostly we use through Google or through Yahoo Mail or through Gmail or through Hotmail, we open the website and in that web page, we enter our username and password and we connect to the mail server. So th they have made an application, web-based application, from which they give access to their mail accounts on their mail servers. Okay. So Gmail, Hotmail, Yahoo, they use HTTP protocol in order to give access to their mail, to their users, to their mail accounts, okay, for, by this HTTP web protocol using a web page their users can go and hook up with their mail accounts and they can see their emails over there read and from there they can compose and send their emails replies okay so this is pop 3 protocol it requires authorization okay let me yeah. uh, the time is over I'm going to stop here and from here we will continue in the next lecture okay thank you guys